Hi everybody, welcome to Banished! It's finally out! It finally is out! I've been waiting for months for this game to come out. Man, it's a medieval city building game. Jesus, if you know anything about me and my content, uh, you'll know that I have a real soft spot for city building games, uh, and I get very excited about them. Uh, and this is no exception. Holy shit, look at this. Looks really nice, doesn't it? I mean, this is an indie game too. This isn't like some big blockbuster EA game. Um, I mean, look at it. It looks fantastic. Look at the nice water reflections and everything. We're going to build our own tranquil hamlet out in the wilderness uh, with a group of banished um, villagers, I guess. They've been banished from like a city or, or a town. Uh, and there's like six families out in the middle of the wilderness that have to sort of forge a new path in life kind of reminds me of towns <laughs> and actually you'll see it is a bit of a mix of towns and the settlers and I guess SimCity in some ways and a bunch of other cool things like Children of the Nile it's a bit like Children of the Nile it's fantastic let's do it we're gonna start a new game um, we cannot keep this town name because I don't even think I can pronounce that Jesus I think we should establish the small tranquil hamlet of um, Sips Sipsburg. <laughs> there we go. Sipsburg. Woohoo! Um, Terran type valleys, Terran size small, that's fine. Climate fair, disasters on, and starting conditions medium. Okay, with starting conditions at medium, uh, we'll get some materials and uh, I think, yeah, five families, some clothing, food, firewood, all that good stuff. Great, okay, let's do it. And here we are. Look at this. All we have is a barn and a stockpile. And all of our cool little villagers milling around with nothing to do. We're going to get these bastards to work straight away. We're not going to... Look, it's the winter already. They're, they're all going to die of exposure straight away. I, we've, we're fucked. Look, straight away. Um, all right, let's get some interface stuff open so that we can see what we're doing. We want to get uh, a log of events that have occurred. Uh, there's currently two things that have happened, apparently. We can leave that open so that we can see it from time to time. And uh, general stats too. Let's get general stats open. Uh, see, we can see the fair town or village of Sipsburg. Early spring, year one. Look, there's 10 adults, seven children. It's minus one degrees Celsius. Everybody is freezing their butts off. Uh, and we have a whole bunch of stuff stored in here. We've got a whole bunch of hide coats, iron tools, and 1,800 potatoes. Holy shit. It's just like a potato extravaganza inside this storage barn. I don't know if you can rename stuff. I don't think you can. Uh, stockpile is also full. We got some firewood, uh, iron. Uh, we have logs for building and uh, stone for building as well. Firewood, of course, is for people to burn uh, so they can keep warm in the winter. Okay, um, so our first priority in Sip Sipsburg, sorry, a little slip of the tongue there, um, is, uh, is getting some food production up and running. I don't know if you watched me play Towns, but uh, that was a fucking disaster because we were always starving and running out of food, and uh, that can happen in this game too. And ideally, we don't want that to happen. So let's go for some farms. We're going to do it straight away. We're going to get a crop field uh, earmarked here. Uh, maybe just over here. We can make like a nice, great big field here. A nice big, a 9 by 9 or should we go, let's go for 10 by 10 10 by 10 crop field. There we go. So that's down. Anyone available to help uh, will come rushing over here now and start helping. Look, see? Already. They're knocking down trees. <laughs> They're sort of standing there as trees fall down. They'll be gathering the lumber. You can click on this too to see. See? We've removed zero of 15 trees that are in the way of this new crop field. Uh, so there's a little bit of work to be done. And then once that's done, uh, we'll need to assign a farmer to start work in the field. We'll have to choose what we want him to actually grow and then harvest later on. Uh, and then he stores everything in here, in this storage barn. Hopefully it'll be more potatoes. Although, I don't know. I mean, I, it depends where we are. We might not be able to make uh, or grow potatoes here. Where, where are we anyway? Oh, look at this. What a location. Holy shit, look at these rivers. Oh, look, there's like a nice island here. Look at how big. This is a small map. Look at how fucking big it is. <laughs> Just shows you that you can actually build quite a big village. Got lots of stone there that we can gather. Seems to be lots of trees, too. This is going to be nice. I think everybody's going to be very happy in Sipsburg. Okay, great. Our field is done. We have a crop field. Uh, we want to... Oh, look at that. We can actually grow potatoes. Holy shit. Man, people are going to be so happy. We're going to grow some potatoes. Uh, it's set to work. 
we need to uh, assign a laborer uh, to this now. We can do that just by clicking on here, which is great. So now somebody can w come and start working this field. Uh, and if we want to take a look and see, um, you know, how other people are assigned, uh, you can open this professions thing here and we can assign. Look, we can have two possible farmers, I guess because this is so big, we can have two farmers working this 10 by 10 fields, which is kind of cool, actually. Great. We now have two farmers. I think you can actually um, cycle through them, too. Look at that. We have Isabel, the potato farmer, and uh, also we have Kylar. <laughs> Kylar, the potato farmer. It's just started pouring rain. So Isabel and Kylar are going to be thrilled uh, because that's going to help the potatoes grow. Of course, they probably haven't planted any seeds yet or uh, started working the land. Uh, so that's going to be um, a bit of a waste of water, I guess. But it's okay. There'll be more. There'll be, there'll be plenty more rain. All right, great. So while they're doing that, let's get another field set up. We need to make sure that we have tons and tons of fields. Let's go for another 10 by 10. 10 by 10. 10. There we go. So we can have two more farmers working in that big field. Great. Uh, and all these people are going to have to come in now and clear out all of these stones and trees and stuff. And they're getting drenched. Look. It's, it's medieval times. Nobody even has umbrellas yet. They haven't even been invented yet. Maybe we can do that in Sipsburg. Maybe Sipsburg could be the birthplace of the umbrella. Because uh, we're like creating our own fantasy universe here. Uh, in Sipsburg. Fucking great. Look at all these busy bees. Holy shit. Um, I think you'll probably notice straight away that um, quite different from towns in the in the sense that villagers don't just wander off and get mauled by bears and hyenas and stuff. They actually work and do stuff, which is quite nice. I don't think you can make bread in this game, though, sadly. Um, not that I've seen yet, anyway. Uh, who knows, maybe later on, like, you get a tech tree or something and you can start making bread. I have no idea. We'll have to see. How are we doing? We need to remove 23 things from this field before it's built. Great. That's a lot of work. Look at all these people carrying big stacks of logs and stones and stuff. They're gonna have huge muscles and, of course, they'll be eating nothing but potatoes as well. So I think, um, that's gonna help with the, uh, with the muscles, too. Great. All right, uh, I think we need to start building houses for people too. As soon as we've assigned two more farmers to uh, this field and we start making some squash. There we go. We're going to have squash in this field. Potato field and a squash field. And uh, we need to have... Oh, we need to have another farmer. Let's open this thing and assign another farmer to this field. Where are the farmers at? Look, we have two of four. There we go. Four of four. See, we have six available laborers left. Man, was it every time we build a field, it fucking starts to rain before even the seeds or anything have gone down. I don't get it. Um, Alright, so farming is underway then. We have two big 10x10 fields. We have four farmers assigned to work the fields and create food. Fantastic. Um, you get this weather thing here. See, look, current weather and temperature. I think if the weather or the temperature goes down to like 2 degrees or thereabouts and then into the minuses, you can't farm anymore. I and mean, I guess that's like in real life, because the soil gets too hard and you can't actually plant anything and nothing will grow. Um, so it's very important, uh, from what I've seen, <laughs> to get those uh, fields um, grown and harvested uh, before the winter months come. I mean, it's spring now, so it's ideal to start planting the crops and everything, get some big yields, harvest it all up, uh, and stockpile for the winter. Uh, so that people can uh, can eat stuff. Okay, great. Uh, let ha let's make a wooden house. We're going to make our first wooden house. Um, where the hell can we make these houses? We can uh, we can make them here. Okay, and you can choose the uh, the type of house it is too. I think it's with uh, is it T F? It's F. Okay, you hit F to change the style of house, so you can have like all similar houses or whatever. This is quite a nice one. This is a pretty nice one too. I like this one though. I like this one how it's like facing this way and not like facing the fields, the uh, the fields that are behind the houses. So that's great. Okay, fine. We'll have that one, and uh, we'll have another one uh, set up here alongside it, and hopefully some people can move in. Two houses. 
for 17 people, it's probably not going to quite cut it, but um, at least it'll give some people uh, somewhere to live. Because uh, look, there's children. There's seven children running around in Sipsburg now with nowhere to live. They're just hiding under rocks and stuff. Their parents don't even know where they are half the time. I don't know, if you're a parent, I don't know if that sits well with you. I personally wouldn't want to know that my son was hiding under a rock somewhere. I'd probably want to have a house for him uh, that I could lock the door and just leave him in there while I go out and like farm potatoes. Because I do that in real life too. I mean, I live in like the potato capital of the world, so um, it, this this game pretty much is like a like a biography of my whole life. Um, okay, they're bringing stuff into these places, the wooden houses. Look at this. We got 16 out of 16 logs, eight out of eight stones. Uh, all that's left is to build them, and of course, we need builders for that. Fucking builders. Let's get on it. Professions. How many builders? We can have four possible builders, and I think we should have four builders. We have a lot of stuff to build. We have. It's a race against time. We need to do it before uh, winter strikes and everybody freezes and dies. So uh, four builders can get in here. Look at this already. Corden, the master builder of the universe, um, has come in. She is fully happy. She is fully healthy. She's only 17 years old, but already she is a better builder than all of the men. And the men uh, of the village of Sipsburg are obviously very jealous. Not because of her uh, young beauty, but because of her exceptional building skills. And uh, of course, building is traditionally a male profession. Not being sexist or anything, it's just the way that it goes. Um, but old old Corden here, is it Corden? <laughs> can never remember. Yeah, it's Corden. <laughs> old Corden here has uh, broken the mold and uh, has risen up through the ranks of the, uh, of the Carpenter's Guild of Sipsburg at the tender age of 17 and shown all these crusty old dinosaur builders what's what. Um, she's apt with a saw and uh, quite exceptional with a hammer and nails. And look at that. She's built a house single-handedly in the time that it's taken three old men to get 91% through this one. What a bunch of bastards. Holy shit. Um, all right, so we are all already, look at this. I'm stunned. I can't even speak. Uh, we have Vestal, the 12-year-old boy, Corden, the exceptional 17-year-old uh, builder, and uh, two children, Kaiman and... Migdalia, an eight-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl uh, living in this wooden house. I guess they're all related somehow. Or maybe they're just complete strangers and they're just getting to grips with living with strangers. It's kind of cool how this works. Look, a house has an inventory. So look at this. Uh, the people of the house will go to the storage barn and pick up firewood and pick up their uh, ration of potatoes <laughs> so that they can uh, so that they can stockpile tons of potatoes in their house and cook them whenever they damn well please. Uh, we still have nine villagers here without homes uh, so uh, by my reckoning that's two more houses that we're gonna need. We'll make two more wooden houses it'll be fine. Uh, let's make like a let's pack them in too. Look we're gonna pack them in here we can just rotate around slowly. I don't want to pack them in too tight but at the same time, I want to make like a bit of a street because I think it'd be kind of cool. So let's uh, have another house here. And right across the street from here too, we're going to have another house. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. If, uh, if Corden has anything to do with those two houses, uh, they're going to be of the finest quality. And of course, given the location as well, uh, next to a bubbling brook, which uh, then feeds into a raging river, um, I think... Um, I think the markup on these houses is going to be exceptional. I think they're going to go for easily six, seven dollars possibly. If you think, uh, you know, back then, that's a lot of money. I mean, it probably cost nothing for most stuff. I don't even think currency is invented yet in Sipsburg. So there's that to think about as well. Um, all right, all these people are slowly bringing stuff over to these uh, plots here for the wooden houses, the supplies needed for the wooden houses. Uh, you probably start to notice now that um, we're running kind of low on supplies. Not really. I mean, we've got 110 stored logs still. we still got 72 stored stone. Uh, there's a bunch of firewood here, uh, but basically we can make some buildings later um, that'll help us collect more logs. Uh, we could build a quarry, which will help us collect uh, more stone. And uh, we can make a woodcutter, which um, will assign somebody the job of being chief firewood provider to Sipsburg. A very noble uh, profession and uh, a noble title as well to, uh, to hold in this fair town.
Thanks for watching part one of Banished. I've recorded quite a bit of this, uh, so there's going to be a couple of more episodes coming out over the next couple of days. Uh, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you soon!